Hello again everyone, welcome to the channel. Hope you've all had a lovely Christmas. Today is Boxing Day and I thought I'd, you know, get out to a solo world camp. Just packed up the old girl by there and I'm in the Brecon Pickers again. I was going to uh, do a camp down by the Talabon Reservoir which is down that way. But I took a drive down and we've had that much rain. It was just too much water around the sides, you couldn't pitch anywhere if you wanted to really, so I came back up this way. Down there is the Blind Glen Ecaf car park. So I thought park up there, take a walk up that way and see what it's like. I've never been up there before so yeah we'll go up there, put up a tent and See what happens. Just nice to get up again, I suppose. Um, I've been Ill, Ill all over Christmas and I have been rough, like, and um, I don't know why. It seems to be the same thing every year. Christmas comes and then I come down with a cold or the flu or something similar, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. And you can't enjoy yourself then, can you? You like just sat there bloody sniffing the whole time and coughing. So yeah, I thought I'd throw a load of gear in a rucksack and just come out for the night. I've been on a camp now for probably a month, something like that. I say now the weather hasn't been the best. The weather's okay at the moment, but I'm not sure. Well, to be honest, I haven't even checked the weather forecast. So we'll just suck it and see and go with it, like. So when I find somewhere, I'm just going to pitch the tent up because it's gone three o'clock now and there's not a lot of light left so yeah find somewhere pitch up get a coffee on the go maybe have a mince pie we shall see right if I pan round a little bit that down there is the Talabon forest in the background you've got wine reeve and down that way is the Talabon Reservoir. And it is fairly boggy. So I've got to be careful here when I pitch. I don't want to... I don't want to get submerged in water, so... Uh, I might just take a walk over that direction and see what that's like. Look at this folks, this is not ideal. Maybe I should pack up and go home, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Bit of a pain in the ass because when I wanted to go, I couldn't, so I thought I'd give uh, this place a try. See you, eh? 
That looks fairly decent by the way. It's, uh, it's not too squishy. It's a little bit exposed. You've got a bit of wind coming through the valley. But that's not a bad view, is it? You know, if I could... If I can set up here... I'll turn around again and show you. It's not too bad. Fairly flat. Right there folks, that's the tent all pitched up and as usual I got the Van Gogh Nevis 200 the old workhorse I keep saying it, I say it time and time again the tents never let me down so, but anyway stay tuned for the next few weeks because I've just purchased a new tent and that'll probably be my go-to tent from here on in but yeah, this will always be a backup for the new tent. I'm really excited about it. I've seen loads of reviews, nothing but good things about it. And yeah, I can't wait to get it. But as I said, keep looking out for the videos because when it comes, I'll do a bit of a preview on it, set it up, let you see what it's like and see what you think about it. But anyway, that's for the that's for the future for the now I'll start putting my bedding in and show you my setup right that's the bedding all put in the usual Thermarest Neo Air X Therm inflatable pad I got a Trekology a left pillow with the elastic strap on the back and I got the OEX Lef Leviathan down bag so that should keep me warm tonight and tell you what it's gone dark fairly quick I knew it would I didn't get it until gone free, so it's my own fault. But anyway, that's the setup for when I get my head down later. Just want to show you a piece of kit I've had for Christmas. Off my better half, Karen, and she's got me the Petzl Arctic Core 450 lumens head torch. Yeah, it's got a built-in core battery, rechargeable, which is pretty handy because the head torch I had in the past, I had to keep putting uh, AAA batteries in it, which isn't ideal. So yeah, this is much brighter than the one I had previously. So yeah, my brother Simon's got one, but I think he's got a red strap, but yeah same it's the same make same model yeah and pretty pleased with it just taking cover a minute started raining surprise surprise which is a bit annoying just about to boil some water as well typical Yeah, I mentioned earlier about getting a new tent and the main reason for that is um, this one you can sit up in it but the, the one, the new one I'm buying apparently you, you can sit up in it quite comfortably I'm like 5, five nine and a half, five ten, and um, this is just 
well it's just too low for me so yeah the new the new tent ticks all the boxes I reckon but I'll soon find out when I get it can't wait I think it's stopping now yes get a jet boil on I've run out of the uh, posh coffees so I'm using a Kenko Kenko smooth sachet which I borrowed out of a well-known hotel chain last week so yeah nice Kenko coffee Jet boils on the go. It's all good. Tell you what, if you like your coffee and you don't want to take any milk with you, I'll get this powder of um, Home Bargains. And it's a German name, and I, for the life of me, I can't think of what it's called. But if you go in Home Bargains and look at the um, powdered milk, it's next to the um, coffee mate. It's cheaper, I think it's only like 89p for. Um, Put a plastic jar in it and it doesn't leave sometimes you buy this powder milk and leaves like white bits floating on the top but this stuff it just melts straight away and for the money you can't go wrong so if you're having home bargains pick a pack of it up or a jar of it up I should say I think it's Ryan Kassa or Ryan Kassa something like that it's like a purple Purple um, plastic jar it is. Yeah, it's good stuff. And look at that. You can't have a cup of coffee over Christmas without a mince pie. I know there's um, mixed reviews on these. You either like them or you don't, but I love them. Gotta be fair. Beautiful. Mmm. Even better with custard or cream. <coughs> Lovely. Just don't like any crumbs in the bed. Mmm. Right, well, whilst I'm having my, my coffee, I'll show you what's on the menu tonight. First of all, I've got this chili con carne in a in a little pouch I don't know where these come from, Karen got them for me but I'll find out, I'll let you know if they're any good so I've got this I've got, um, hang on I've got egg fried rice um, that was leftovers of a Chinese the other day so I brought that to have with my chilli. So I've got rice, chilli, and for afters i got Jacob's cream crackers, Wensleydale and cranberry cheese, some cheddar, and I brought some butter as well. And to go with the meal I've got a few cans of the Herefordshire fire water, that's standard and I've also been given a couple of these they're called the Red Wall Cider and they're from the Brecon Brewery 
and there's something to do with the Welsh football team. So you've got the Welsh logo there, the Brecon Brewery logo there, hashtag together stronger. So yeah, I've been given a couple of cans of them. So I'll try them and let you know what they're like. I tell you what, it's misty now. There's a risal mist coming across. So yeah, I can't see a whole lot. Right, let's have something to eat. Got the jet boil on. I put the chilli bag in water, so I'm going to boil that. I'll boil that gently to um, heat up the chilli. And then I'll transfer that to a pot and add the rice. And just mix it all in, I guess. Seems about the um, best way of doing it. Kind of the Herefordshire fire water as well. And I've got to be fair, guys. Um, it's a little bit spooky up here. It's a bit, it's a bit misty, murky, and I can't see a whole lot. And yeah. And that's the thing about wild camping in the winter, I guess. It gets dark a bit earlier and then if it's raining you can find your tent, so. And there has been, uh, it's like a fine rain it is, when it does come down. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I still got a bit of a cold. Probably not the best thing to be doing, is it? on the side of a mountain, but hey ho. Just nice to get up again. So what I've done, I've <coughs> got, my, got my remote stove, put my pan on there, put a bit of water in there, put the rice in, hopefully the rice will, that'll stop the rice sticking. And then, got the chilli over there, and then once I've heated this up a bit, I'll add the chilli into there then and mix it all together, so hopefully that'll be job done. I put the chilli in there now and as you can see the, the rice far outweighs the chilli but it should be alright. You can't beat the chilli on a wild camp. Well in my opinion anyway. <laughs> Looking good. Welcome back. Chili's all done. Gotta be fair. Pretty nice that is. I'd give that a 7.5 out of 10. Hmm. I didn't bother sticking on my plate. Just gonna eat it out of the pan, sorry. Pretty good. As I said earlier, I was in a camp by Taliban Reservoir. Me and Karen stayed there about four weeks ago in the camper van on the dam, right by the dam wall, and it was a fantastic day. Beautiful sunshine, cracking morning, and I did, I think it's three or four time lapses with my GoPro, and I haven't shown them on any other video before so I'll play them now and for you to have a look at and let me know what you think
Hope you enjoyed the time lapses. As I said, cracking day. Lovely sunshine. And we're not seeing a lot of that at the moment. It's mainly rain. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit in here with a tent door open. Have a couple of cans and chill out. Then I'll wait a bit for my dinner to go down. And I might have my crackers and cheese. I think I'm going to sit in the tent for a bit now. It's a bit wet out there. So yeah, I'm going to sit in here with my Christmas jumper on. Still wearing it. Probably the last time now till next year. Bloody like to keep banging my head on it. So yeah, I'm sat here with my Christmas jumper on. Feeling very Christmassy still. Couple of cans of this. Right then. Cheese and cracker time. Got some cream crackers, cheddar, and Wensley Dale and cranberry. And I brought some butter as well. I'm gonna butter them up now. Cheese and crackers, beautiful. Mmm. Where'd that go? <laughs> My bag. Oh, nice size. Mm. It's a big bit. Can't believe on the side of a mountain. Well, it's a hill, really, but look at that. Hardly any wind at all. Just a little breeze. There's probably uh, more wind coming up my back end. I'll be honest with you, but <laughs> that's awesome, that is. If it stays like that, I'll be happy, knowing that I can get a decent night's kip. Because sometimes it's the worst bit, isn't it? You're trying to sleep, and the wind just keeps you awake. And it doesn't matter how many cans you drink, you ain't going to sleep. Fact. Anyway, I've had a few beers. Uh, I've seen, seen a bit of some... I've watched a bit of YouTube. And now I'm going to hunger down. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everyone. Morning, everyone. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. Not a bad night's sleep. I think I woke up twice in the night. I think it was one o'clock and four o'clock. And then I just had probably four hours sleep on the bounce. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. Little bit of light rain in the night. A little bit of a light wind, which was okay actually. And my only concern is this. The condensation on there, that just that grinds my gears at us.
The thing is, how do you stop it? I just don't know. I don't think you can. And I think nearly every tent is the same, isn't it? I think every tent suffers from condensation. Bloody nuisance. Anyway, I've opened the door and then look. That's my view. Or should I say, lack of view. But it might, it might clear, it might not, but just check the weather app and it says sun, sun comes up at 20 past 8, so got about another half hour. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to strip down all the inside now, put all that away go outside, have a coffee and then see what it's like when it gets a bit lighter let's state this please, it's like a bomb site but then I've opened I've opened this other side door, it's got a bigger vestibule because it's pissing down outside now so I got the jet boil on the go, I'm going to have a make a coffee this side, I've got a bit more room a bit more room to play with like so So I'm going to have a coffee now and take the tent down the rain again. Oh. I don't get no luck with the weather. <laughs> That's where I was. Leave no trace as usual. I'll give you a 360. You can see what the weather's like. And it's not that good to be honest. So right, I'll get my pack on and head back down to the van. Right then folks, back in the camper van. Hope you enjoyed that um, quick overnight camp. It wasn't really planned, I just threw a load of gear in the rucksack and headed out. The weather wasn't that good, but it was just nice to get out in the end. So yeah, yeah. as I said yesterday, I've got a new tent coming in a couple of weeks. So look out for that. And as soon as it comes, I'll, I'll get it in the video and see what my first impressions are of it. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this one. See you on the next one guys and Happy New Year, stay safe.